Hey everyone, my name is Lester Martin. I'm with Starburst's enablement team, and I'm going to spend just a few minutes with you connecting uh, Tableau or Tableau Desktop to Starburst Galaxy. So if you don't know a whole lot about Starburst Galaxy, plenty of other good videos will walk you through there, but just hitting the Starburst um, data homepage, you'll see multiple places referencing, referencing um, starting with Starburst Galaxy and getting up to $500 in uh, free usage right here. Good old start free, just a few messages, a uh, few, few bits of information, not even a payment uh, details will get you going. Once you get going, what are you going to see? Well, I've already created myself an account. So Lester here, I'm going to log into Starburst Galaxy in my particular environment. And uh, short and sweet, I want to keep it focused on connecting here. So I'll just give you a, a quick overview. What we see in Starburst Galaxy uh, just like Starburst Enterprise, is the ability to configure multiple catalogs. I have a few catalogs already configured. Um, in fact, I'll drill into those and we'll run a couple queries just to see what kind of data is there before we transition to Tableau. But you can build uh, any kind of different uh, data sources to the various connectors that we have out there. Once you get those catalogs, what we really need to do is associate those catalogs with a cluster. So I already have a cluster spun up, it's actually running as we speak. And if I look at that cluster as a name, uh, just some sizing, so you could create your own cluster, different sizes. Uh, and then basically you wanna be able to uh, quiet, shut everything down at some point of inactivity. I have this set up for about 15 minutes. And then those catalogs, uh, the mention, I have uh, three of those. I'm gonna link all three of those to this cluster. So from this cluster, I should be able to access uh, all those various catalogs. Well, let's see us uh, let's see that happen in practice navigate over here to the uh, catalogs page and i could drill down and explore uh, explorer here and say yep i got a tiny cluster one of those catalogs was sample and, and in sample there was a database called demos uh demo and it had a table called astronauts of all things so what do we see here if i move over you know normal table fields all that normal stuff you'd expect so let's just take a quick peek um, at that table a little bit. We'll just peek into it. As you notice on the left, it's a pretty wide table. So yep, lots of good data points and stuff. And what do we really wanna see? Maybe uh, I've been playing with the data a little bit already. And in fact, I think I could probably just get you to uh, the punchline. The punchline is I wanted to see, uh, which query was it here? The one sealing some, there we go. I wanted to do this. I wanted to run a query that's going to look into those astronauts and basically group them together by uh, country of origin. Where did that astronaut come from? So grouped by US, USSR, Japan, Russia, et cetera. And ultimately I want to count how many uh, astronauts from that country and the cumulative hours from um, all of those astronauts across all those various missions. So we could take more time and get there but that's the punchline. That's the analysis I was trying to do. What we really want to show, focus on, though, is just as importantly as connecting uh, Tableau. And I'll use Tableau Desktop. Um, we have a documentation page here uh, focused just on connecting uh, Starburst Galaxy, Starburst Enterprise to uh, Tableau. And if you really read along here, the short and the sweet of it is, well, we need to go get a, a database connector. We need to go, to J go get a JDBC driver. So click in this JDBC link, we'll take you to uh, the Starburst page. And ultimately all we have to do is kind of click uh, the driver down here, a particular one, Bert one. We have uh, the Trino uh, 369, Trino JDBC. Now I went ahead and downloaded that just a second ago. And in fact, here it is, LS minus long, uh, sitting right there, Trino JDBC jar. So what do we need to do now that we've downloaded it? Well, we just need to put that information right here. I'm using a Macintosh. There's Windows, you know, different OSs. I need to drop it into uh, basically my home director's library uh, Tableau driver. So why don't we just do that? I think I have a CD already in my history here. Uh, that looks like it. And just to show you there's nothing there, I'll do a quick move of that downloads folder. Uh, what was it? There we go. And we'll just drop it right here. And voila, we have the JDBC driver available to us. At that point, really, we can just start up a Tableau desktop. So we'll do that. 
And while that started, I'll come back to the web page here and focus on that. Really, all I'm going to do is, you know, look at the types of servers. So on the left, I'm going to say connect to a server, hit uh, more. And then there's a long list of things that Tableau can connect to. So I'll just type uh, Starburst. There we go, Starburst, Enterprise by Starburst. And I'm going to leave that screen up for a second and navigate back over here. We just have details of walking you through here, a short of it. We just need to know what server and port and how we're going to authenticate to that. How do we get that information? Well, I'll just navigate back over to my uh, Starburst Galaxy console. I'm going to hit clusters and I only have that one cluster. I'm going to hit get connection. And really, this is the information I need. This is all put together in one string, but I'll, uh, I'll take a few elements out of there. Really only need about two or three elements out of there. I need uh, a server. Well, the server is right here, cluster, tiny cluster, whatever yours says. And then I'm also going to need a port 443. So I've already put those in there, Lester, tiny cluster, 443. We want to use username and password. There's my username and type in my password. I think I would remember it. Uh, we'll go ahead and sign in, make sure that query comes up. And I'll navigate back to the docs and it says, hey, look, once we get in, so what should we see? We should see the connection. And from there we can drill down catalog tables, et cetera. So let's see if that actually worked. Uh, looks like it is, select a catalog. We'll use the uh, sample catalog that we looked at earlier. And inside of it, there was a database called demo. And inside of demo, we only had a few tables, astronauts and missions. So let's just build a custom uh, SQL query here to get us going. And just like I said, to keep us focused on uh, uh, connecting more than anything else, why don't we just go back to, no, oh, thought I launched it. There we go. I'll just go back to Galaxy and we'll just go back to the query editor and we're gonna go grab um, that very query. Here it is right here. We'll just copy and paste it, come back over here. And remember, we're just trying to validate. So we're not going to use the native uh, native interface. We'll just use paste the query and run with it. So I'll kick that in. And if we look right here, go to update now, what do we see? You know, US has 853 people for what, a half a million hours. I think that's what we saw earlier when we ran that. US has about a half a billion hours. Uh, so we see it back in the Starburst Galaxy. And if I look at the query history, I can actually see that just a few seconds ago, uh, I got 12.28 on my clock at 12.27, we ran that very query. Now, um, Tableau did a few things and changed the query that I had to something a little different. Um, that, in fact, it basically took the order buys if you looked at over there. But the connections there, we can see these different tables and you can use the full features uh, that you have in uh, Tableau. And you have the benefit of letting Starburst Galaxy run that query uh, top to bottom with all this normal query execution analysis and planning uh, and optimization activities. So really that's uh, what I wanted to focus on. Just make sure that we can connect these two great tools. And I wanna remind everyone that if you come back to uh, Starburst's homepage, you'll see that Starburst Galaxy definitely has uh, a free sign up and we offer up to $500 in free usage. Thanks for your time. It's been all my pleasure. Goodbye. Thank you.